The intertidal flats and estuaries provide a rich feeding ground for many animals. Fish at high tide and wading birds at low tide. For an invertebrate, it is difficult to avoid becoming the main item on the menu. However, there is one invertebrate that seems to thrive in these areas. The soldier crab. Unlike a lot of crabs, these crustaceans are air breathers and actually walk forwards rather than sideways. At low tide, these amazing animals often form groups and can cover up to 450 metres in one journey. They move around the flats in search of food and the moist sand they need to process their food. To feed, they gather the sand and place it in their mouth with water. The water allows fine organic matter to float to the surface which can then be ingested by the crab. The remaining sand is then discarded as a pellet. Soldier crabs have a great impact on the geochemistry and ecology of the flats. The mixing or reworking of sediments through feeding and burrowing is known as bioturbation. If moving around in groups assists with avoiding predators and finding new feeding grounds, then burrowing as the tide returns is a good way of avoiding predators such as fish. Because they are air breathers, they have a neat adaptation to solving being up to two metres underwater at high tide. They build an igloo, which is a pocket of air within their burrow. They then work their way deep into the sediment and take this air with them by using a corkscrew action and taking the sand from the bottom of their burrow and placing it at the top. They can then sit out the high tide as well as avoid becoming a mill for a passing whiting or stingray. With these types of behaviours and adaptations, no wonder soldier crabs thrive in our mangrove and estuary areas.